I don't mess around when it comes to gaming contents. I cover it all on my channel. My channel is simple, to provide you with the most entertaining and engaging gaming contents on the internet that exploding now. So, I have created a concise, short videos on my channel that will grab your attention from the very first second and provide you with valuable information that leaves a lasting impression. Now, I know I am using AI voiceover on my videos. Nobody type this in the comments. Remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and share our videos with your friends to help me grow so that I can pay for my foods every day and love what I do. Thank you for tuning in and showing your support. All right, let's get down to business. Recently, I've been flooded with Dragon's Dogma 2 teasers. In my YouTube homepage and after watching the gameplay trailer, honestly, I loved it so much. My main interest is in the different vocations you can choose from. And its combat system is pretty unique and looks fun, but that alone isn't enough to carry the whole game. That brings us to the flaws, of which this game has many. First off all, let's acknowledge the big elephant in the room. I am talking about the performance of the game here and how well it is optimized for the PC and the PlayStation 5. Now I can see that Capcom definitely going to pull the plug for the PS5 version, meaning it's gone to cap the frame rate to 30 FPS in quality or fidelity mode at 4K. I think, at launch, I bet the game can only run at 4K 30 FPS even in performance mode. Now let's talk about the topic. Now given how much we learned after Capcom showcasing new gameplay for Dragon's Dogma 2, and how insanely ambitious from the original Dark Arisen. I can't wait to see what Capcom managed to pull off in this sequel. But I am so skeptical here, because of how the game looks and how's the performance of the gameplay going to be. Please also do note, Capcom has not announced that Dragon's Dogma 2 will be coming to Game Pass at any time in the near future. So, rest assured, that's a bad luck for the Xbox owners. And you shouldn't expect Capcom will add this to Game Pass in any time soon, even after the launch. The first game is also, was not on Xbox Game Pass, nor is the Dark Arisen version. If you want to play any version of Dragon's Dogma on Xbox, you'll have to pay full $70 to play the sequel in the first game. The graphics are improved far greater, that if you compare the new character creator to the original Dark Arisen, the difference is staggeringly huge, making it one of the best character customize option ever. The story and background was not as great in the first game, Capcom have to look like, they probably have to give it more focus in the second game. So, in Dragon's Dogma 2, you'll be take on the role of a customizable Arisen, accompanied by up to three AI pawns. Your main pawn can be fully customizable and will be your loyal companion. The other two pawns can liken AI players from online you can choose, while you may not be able to team up with friends to take down massive enemies in the traditional sense, this is still, in a single player, story-driven action RPG. The story takes in a parallel world to the first game, situated between the open world of Vermund and Badal. Just like its predecessor, the plot revolves around the dragon that the Arisen must vanquish with the help of their loyal AI pawns in order to get back the main character's stolen heart and kill the dragon in the process. However, a false Arisen, supported by the Queen of Vermund, poses a formidable challenge. Meanwhile, the Beastron of Battle have forsaken the worship of the Arisen and their pawns entirely. Now, as far as I can tell by looking at the trailer, the story is as same as the first game. Which you'll die and get your heart stolen by a dragon and getting it back, you'll start from scratch and level up your vocation until you can defeat the dragon and retrieve back your heart and save the world. As well as the various elements of the world shown in the previous game have all carried over to this one as well. That said, it does take place in a different parallel world, which is why I think there will be parts that are similar yet different. From what I've seen, it seems like it could be a hit or miss for me. But, the different vocations look really cool, but the fast travel and harshness of the world could either be immersive or just end up feeling tedious. On the bright side, since it's using the RE engine, modders will likely be able to easily add a lot of new content, which is awesome. And also note that, every trailer released so far has been all about the combat and how many vocations and the same few big monsters in the world mostly in the same area visually, and maybe some little goblin-looking creatures. Honestly, I'm so happy that Capcom right now, doing great game releases, banger after banger, all their AAA games, Street Fighter VI, Resident Evil, The Village, Monster Hunter World, 
Monster Hunter Rise, etc. have all had insanely awesome releases in the past few years. Capcom now, stronger than they've been in a decade. I'm curious if the game includes dungeons, exploration, secrets, loots, hopefully tied to specific areas and creatures, some light crafting, and more. I'm just assuming this stuff is in there because it seems like it would fit the vibe of a fantasy MMORPG. I haven't played the first game since I don't have a gaming PC. And the trailers don't really show anything else, and also performance also looked pretty good in the trailer so far. Also in combat, not just within the open world, and also the environments with detailed quality. Which makes me think the PC performance will be incredible. 4K, ultra high, graphics fidelity. There is also rumors surrounding an unofficial gameplay footage, and the performance of PlayStation 5 version is leaked all over the place, and in combat it even drops to low 20 FPS. I can already see that the PlayStation 5 version of Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to be very rough. They should have just capped it at 30 FPS, also considering the variable refresh rate, in short, VRR, on PS5. Now I know Dragon's Dogma 2 is not going to beat the Elden Ring, sales and the coming DLC from, from software by far. Let's assume here if it sells 10 millions of copy within a month, then we can all agree that Capcom will make another sequel or prequel or a DLCs for Dragon's Dogma two within two years or so. Dragon's Dogma is a series that tends to evoke strong feelings from gamers. You either love it or hate it. Whether you fall into the story aspects or the other thing really depends on the type of gamer you are. If the game stays true to the design philosophies of the original, I believe it will continue to divide RPG fans. Now, from my prospects, Dragon's Dogma is its commitment to realism, even if it means sacrificing some quality of life features. That's why when I recommend the game to someone, I always advise them to give it some time to sink in and embrace its unique approach, rather than expecting a typical modern open world RPG experience. For example, let's talk about day and night time in the game. In most games, the day and night cycle is just a change in lighting, but in Dragon's Dogma, it's a whole different experience. You have to manage light sources like torches and lanterns as enemies strategically move in and out of darkness. It may seem like a hassle to some players, but the game prioritizes creating an immersive you, where you truly feel the challenges of being out in the dark. Some people may find this aspect annoying, having to constantly equip lanterns and deal with limited visibility. While my point of view, I appreciate it, where they added realism while also the strategic choices that we have to make. Ultimately, Dragon's Dogma is a game that challenges players to adapt to its unique mechanics and embrace the sense of vulnerability that comes with venturing into the unknown. It's all about immersing yourself in the experience and feeling rewarded for overcoming its challenges. Whether you find it frustrating or rewarding, one thing is for sure, Dragon's Dogma offers a gameplay experience unlike any other. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and can't wait for more awesome contents, then hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And while you're at it, why not give this video a like and share it with your friends. See you guys on the next one. Peace out. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2.